everybody, this is Neil Fyler. I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 12th and the 19th of April 2021. Quite a dynamic week in the skies, ladies and gents. And anything in between? <laughs> anything dynamic in between? So just to remind you, this is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in. Um, the energies that affect us all zodiac signs so you know this week began with this new moon in Aries conjunct Venus squaring Pluto very transformative very demanding that we'll go forward that we'll get there you know demanding a change in our relationships a change in our satisfaction with life and change in our um, um, self-value and a change in the way we bring in value in general into our life money income we understand the urgent necessity for these things to be upgraded and mutated in our lives right now and this could be a deeply unsettling and stressful financial time for many of us a risky time and this is true for the full lunar cycle ahead of 29 and a half days on the other hand this is a very artistic and fertile and maybe even happily intense you know and sexual new moon <laughs> so indeed that has something to say for the whole month ahead as well so and, and then later on, the, the week continues to be very dynamic with uh, two um, I don't know how you call these formations in English, just two sextiles and one uh, 120, which form triangles, uh, not trines, it's a trine and uh, two sextiles. And there are two of them happening in the skies. Um, so a lot of energies there and we're going to talk about each and every one of them you know but let's begin with monday the 12th so we have this new moon in the sky good time to set intentions good times to make a ceremony tuesday the 13th we're having the sun sextile mars and the moon in a t-square with uranus and saturn so let's begin with the sextile to mars it joins as the Sun sextiles Jupiter as well and the two of them Mars and Jupiter trine each other into a trine as I said not 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 the 120 but again I don't know how you call this formation in English I need to check it out but um, a very positive formation in the sky a formation that would allow us to feel as if the water has have risen underneath us and suddenly there's a swell coming up and we are carried on the stream forward and things become easier things become more in flow we feel that we are more capable to create the things that we wish for and aim for and more sure of our ability to actually you know uh, walk the road that needs to be um, that needs to be walked so Tuesday the 13th on the uh, T-square side we could really feel the push and pull between the structures of society on the one hand the old rule the old guard and civil society and the new ideologies and paradigms on the one hand pushing us forward restlessly you know impatiently there is no time we need to go forward we need to do it now we need to make a better future for each and every creature not just mankind and do it now 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 is a video that was sent to me um was praising so that's that's one power and then we have the old guard we have the structures of society we have the ruling powers and 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 the law and these all feel very threatened by everything that is happening right now and truly they don't know what to do because these structures rely on past experience 
And this is a new age, a new day, a new situation that we're walking into, running into. So they're clueless on the one hand, and they're full of trepidation because the ground is shaking underneath their feet. And suddenly the stable structures that be that have made a real difference and it provided a secure pasture for mankind society to develop capitalist liberal society to develop upon suddenly don't cut it anymore suddenly there is a great necessity as I said for an upgrade between the ruler and the ruling if you understand what I'm saying because we the people what do you mean by we the people? You mean we the people are too stupid to think for ourselves and choose for ourselves. That's why we have to choose between several clowns each, uh, you know, like um, every couple of years. So they could choose for us because we're stupid. We can't think for ourselves. More and more people around the world are finding how governments are inefficient inefficient positively corrupt negatively and all that money that goes on the ministers and their speakers and the media advisors and their chauffeurs and their suites and their galas and their flights abroad and everything that is being spent on you know elections every time all of that money could be back in our pockets and we could keep only the part of government that actually is in charge of doing what the ruler us decides to do it's called digital democracy it's direct democracy that we could all use through our phones and through our electronic appliances and you know what? I really care about children's rights and human rights and animal rights and environmental rights. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to be there for every vote on that subject. But there are many things I don't care to spend my time voting on. So I'm sure that in, within a few months I'll have several applications that I could download and they could do it automatically for me. Maybe I'll download the one of the Democratic Party or the Republican one. And I'll set the guidelines so it could choose for me when decisions come up. We don't need anybody to choose for us anymore. We are well equipped. Thank you. We don't need heroes. We are our own heroes. We don't need you to save us. We are going to save ourselves. Digital democracy and it's coming fast so this is part of this energy of Saturn squaring Uranus you know and unfortunately economically 2021 isn't easy it's very you know it's eroding a lot of the lower classes and it's gifting the upper classes and again that would help people see that as long as this is the situation the unequal situation the unequal situation it affects everyone as long as 90% of the world's wealth is owned by 10% of the world's population and within that group about 90 to 80% of the wealth is owned by the upper 3%. As long as that stays like that, nothing can really change. And it will. It would be immoral to be so rich in the future. Um, simply because other people are dying because of it. And governments right now with COVID in most places in the world have blood on their hands and again I'm a pacifist 
I want us all to get along on this spaceship Earth. There's a time to reap. There's a time to sow. There's a time for love and there's a time for war. And hopefully we don't have to go to war again to get to this golden age. Because every time this time came in history, it was worse before it became better. Hopefully at this new age, with this quickening, we won't have to go all through that mud again. And we can learn our lessons faster. So wish for peace, wish for unity. But keep the guidelines straight. <clears throat> so, Wednesday the 14th, I said a lot of great energy in the sky. Thursday the 15th, the Sun sextiles Jupiter exactly. Again, <coughs> that trine to Mars and as the Sun sextiles Mars as well. Very good formation in the sky. And then Friday the 16th is actually a good day for career subjects. And we have to be careful not to be too obsessive, compulsive or total with the Sun squaring Pluto. And then Saturday the 17th, a lot of things are happening in the sky. We have another beautiful formation, just like this, the first one. This time, we take the trine between Mars and Jupiter, and we put Mercury in the middle, sextiling them. And that just involves more popularity and um, more uh, interact, social interaction, and just being able to flow more easily with other people and through the environment and with our minds and actually set things that we want to reach and have the mental ability to understand the logistics needed to reach them so it's a great time to plan you know great time to plan um but it is a sensitive day as well that we could feel how our own efforts get so diluted by what the world you know throws at all of us you know that our plans just like said in Blade Runner get lost you know um, in this world like tears in the rain nevertheless it's about us producing something or contributing to something that has significance for the whole, not just for ourselves, that can save our sweet little butts. Um, Sunday the 18th, as Mercury took the place of the Sun in that um, formation, it also takes the place of the Sun in the square to Pluto. And whenever Mercury squares Pluto, we all get this intense understanding of everything that everybody else around us tries to hide. Our thoughts get deeper and sometimes more sinister too. We have to be careful not to attach, to attach small razors to the ends of our words because they can cut. They can cut. And at times with mercurial plutonian energy in the sky, if we really want to hurt somebody, we don't need to raise our fists or voices. We just send out a well-pointed word to the right place and the person crumbles like a deck, like a house of cards, you know? So be careful and utilize this time actually for positive transformation in your environment, in the way you logistically climb towards that summit in your life, your words, your interactions, and so on and so forth. I want to remind you all, I still have 30% off on all readings, on all courses and private lessons. Utilize them. This is everything for this week. I want to wish you all, us all, may we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Fiber. Bye-bye.